We have a uniform ball of radius small r that rolls without slipping down the top of a sphere of radius r. So this is the ball, it's going to roll down the sphere. Find the angular velocity of the ball at the moment it breaks off. So whenever we have uh, two bodies that are breaking off from each other, technically normal reaction at that point is zero. So that's what is happening here also as the as the ball rolls down. At this moment, let's say normal reaction just becomes zero. So this is the moment this ball is breaking off. We need to find the angular velocity when this happens. Now since it's rolling, angular velocity and velocity are related as V is equal to omega r. So let's find the velocity. And also because the normal reaction is going to be zero, we are going to write the force equation in this direction. So these are the two things which we are going to do. So first, the velocity. So that we are going to get from the energy conservation. So the center of sphere, sorry, center of this ball has come down by, an ang by r plus r into one minus cos theta, assuming that it has turned by an angle theta. So as it has turned by an angle theta, its velocity is going to be it's, it's, uh, coming, it will come from this equation. mg r plus r1 minus cos theta, the work done by gravity is equal to change in kinetic energy. So final kinetic energy minus zero. So final kinetic energy is half mv square plus half i omega square. And because it is rolling, omega is v by r. i for ball is 2 by 5 mr square. This gives v square is equal to Basically, we get the cot v square in terms of theta. So that is expected. Now the second condition is it breaks off. So that means at theta, normal reaction just becomes zero. So what are the forces on this ball? So one was uh, mg cos theta in this direction. So forces we are writing in this direction only. So towards center, it was mg cos theta and away it was normal reaction. And what is the acceleration? Because when it breaks off, just before that, it's still traveling in this circular motion. So its acceleration in this direction is V square by R plus R. So when we write the forces in this direction, this is what we get. Mg cos theta minus N is equal to Ma, that is Mv square by R plus R. But at the time it breaks off, N becomes zero. So that is our equation. So force along normal surface F is equal to Ma or Mg cos theta minus N is equal to Mv square by R plus R. And when it breaks off, N becomes zero. So this is another relation between V square and cos theta. So we have two equations, two variables, V and theta. We solve that and we get the value of V. But we want omega, so omega will simply be V by R. If he had asked at what theta it breaks off, you will just eliminate v square from both the equations and you will get the value of theta. Alright.